Hello children, I am Rishma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's topic is Bird or Feather Snail. Feathers. Birds are the only that have feathers on them. Feathers of a bird are of three types. Let's see first one. Down feathers. Down feathers are fluffy and keep the body of a bird warm. Second one, body feathers. Body feathers cover the body of a bird and give the body a shape. And the third one, flight feathers. The long feathers on the wing and on the tail are called flight feathers. They help most birds to fly. A pigeon has a grey feather while a parrot has green feathers. A peacock has very bright and colourful feathers. Wings. Birds have wings for flying. They also have a light body with hollow bones which help them to fly. Birds also have strong muscles in their chest which help them to tap their wings while flying. The wings move in two directions, first upward and backward and second forward and downward. Beak. Birds do not have teeth, they eat with the help of their beak. Different birds have different food habits and their beaks are suitable for the kind of food they eat. On the basis of that, let us see the first one. Strong and sharp beak. Eagles and vultures have strong and sharp beaks with hook upper jaw that help them to tear and eat flesh. These flesh eating birds are also called birds of prey. Second type short beak. Birds that eat seeds and nuts such as sparrow have short beaks that help them to break open the seeds. Next one strong and hook beak. Parrots have strong and hook beak to eat fruits and nuts. Next, long scissor like beak. Birds like pelican and kingfisher have long scissor like beaks to catch insects and small fish from water. Pelicans also have a small pouch under their beak to store the fish and insects they catch. Next type, long scissor like beak. Woodpeckers have long scissor like beaks which help them to drill holes in the branches of trees. Next one, broad and flat beaks. Ducks have broad and flat beaks with tiny holes on the side. Ducks take in water with insects and other smaller animals into its beak. The water flows out through the hole in the beak. Next one, long and thin beaks. Hummingbirds have long, thin beaks. They use it as a straw to sip nectar from flowers. And last one, long and sharp beaks. The heron has a long and sharp beak. It uses its beak to stab fish and other small animals in water before catching and eating them. Feet and Claws Birds use their feet to walk first and also to catch their food. The toes are covered with long, sharp, hooked nails or claws. 
birds use their feet and claws to catch their food and also to protect themselves from enemies eagles and vultures use their sharp claws to catch rats and other small animals the sharp claws are called talons and this figure shows the feet and claws of eagle and vulture Aquatic birds living in water such as crane and heron have long legs and spread out toe in their feet that help them to move in muddy water. Aquatic birds that swim in water such as dove have web feet. They have three toes in the front and one toe at the back. Web feet help the bird to swim. This figure shows web feet of dove. Some birds sit and even sleep on the branches of trees. They are called perching birds. Perching birds such as crow, parrot, and sparrow have three toe in the front and one toe at the back. This helps them to get a better grip on the branches. This figure shows perching birds. Woodpeckers have sharp and curved claws that help them to climb the branches of trees. Owls have very sharp and curved claws that help them to grasp the branches of the tree and also to catch and kill their prey. Birds lay eggs. Birds build home called nests to lay eggs. After the eggs are laid, the male bird or female bird sits on them to keep them warm. After a few days, chicks come out from the egg. This is called hatching. The mother and father birds give food and protect the chicks when they are very young. The chicks get their own wings feathers and are ready to fly. When the chicks fly away, most parent birds also leave the nest. Birds build their nest in branches of trees. Tall Tower or in some quiet corners of our homes. Birds' nests can be of different shapes and sizes. Generally, bird nests are made up of mud, twigs, and leaves, wool, feather, cloth, and paper. Woodpecker digs a hole in the tree trunk with its feet and lay eggs inside it. Taylor birds sew together the leaves of trees. A river birds use the grass to make a nest that hangs from the branches of a tree. Penguins make a nest on the ground by collecting some pebbles. Let's record. So, children, in this video, we learn. Birds have feathers covering their body. They have wings and a light body that help them to fly. Different birds have different kinds of beaks suitable for the kinds of food they eat. Birds use their feet and claws to walk, perch, and to catch their food. Birds lay eggs. Chicks come out from these eggs. So children, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, like, comment, and share. Press bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you for watching, and we will meet again with next video.